Welcome back. Now we are going to look at one of the essential concepts in Laravel, and that is Laravel routing. We're going to look at the main types of routing and the entire mechanism around creating and defining these routes. So what is a web route? So a route is basically a web request URL that accesses a particular web page. So in other words, every web page you create in Laravel must be mapped with the help of these routes. And the routes are defined in the routes file. Uh, for now, we'll be focusing on this web.php file. So if you look at this file, you'll see it has a route which is defined. And this route is returning a view called welcome. So every time this route receives a GET request for this URL, it will return a view called welcome. So this is the page that it will return. So Laravel will go and check that view inside the resources views folder and it defines the match, then it will return that request to the user. So the first thing this route will do is go to the root URL of this application, which is localhost colon 8000, and then return a view called welcome. So if it doesn't find that view, then it will not return anything. And all views must have that blade extension. That is welcome.blade.php. That is the extension Laravel will be looking for. And if it doesn't find that blade file, then it will not return anything. So first, let's go to this URL and check whether you can be able to view this view called welcome. So go to the browser. And I'm going to paste that URL there. Enter. And as you can see, this is now our view called welcome. So Laravel has been able to go to that URL and then return the view called welcome. So this means that view is already or already exists in the views directory. So let's say, for example, we don't have a view called welcome. We have something else like about. Remember, about doesn't exist. So let's see what will happen. Save, refresh. And as you can see, it says the view about not found. So Laravel has gone to the views directory and was unable to return that view because no view exists that's called about. Now, what you're doing here, this is the simplest way to define a route where a route is mapped to a specific path with a closure. So go to the root URL and return a view called welcome. So that is what exactly this route function will do. Now, let's create our own view and define that in this file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define or to duplicate the welcome. Right click, duplicate. And I'm going to call it about, about us. About us dot blade. Remember that view must have that blade extension. So now we have that about us. The first thing is to change this title to about us view. And then also change the welcome to welcome view. You can call it home page. And then let's now define this route for the about us view. So the first thing I'll do is put a comment on the first closure or the first route that is define the route for the welcome welcome view you can call it home page welcome that is a comment or basically let's call it route for the welcome now i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to put a comment route for the about us view comments now let's tell laravel now to go and look for this view called about us remember now the url will change which means it will not go to the root the url so it will go to the root url and then forward slash about can name it any you can give it any name you want so i'll call it about or about us so let's just call it about and then the view to look out for is to look out for about us as simple as that 
Now let's go now to the browser and see whether you can be able to view that. Just refresh. So let's change these links so that you can be able to move to the next view. So I'll just remove this and then change the name to about us. The docs will be the homepage. And then the URL for the homepage is the root URL, which is the forward slash. And then for about us, the URL will be forward slash about. Save. Let's copy these links to the welcome view. Remove everything. Paste. Save. Go back to the browser. Refresh. So now let's go to the about us. And there you have it. So a homepage about us, everything working fine. Now let's say, for example, we have a view inside the directory. So let's create a new directory inside the views folder. And I'm going to call it services. Then I'm going to duplicate one of this view. And I'm going to call it web design dot blade now move that web design to the services directory and now we need to tell laravel and create that route and instruct laravel that we have a view inside the services directory so it has to go to that view to that folder and return the necessary request so the first thing we need to do is let's change the title to web design And then also add this link. So I'm just going to duplicate. And then I'm going to call it web design. And then web design. So let's copy this link. Copy, save. Let's go to the welcome. Save that, go to the about us, save that. Now let's go now to the browser. Oh, we haven't defined that route. Let's now define that. I'm going to duplicate this. And this one I'm going to call it web design. And then now we have three, view, three views and we need to tell Laravel or to define this route. So here we have to say the name of the folder that is services and then use the dot notation and then web design. So every time you have a folder or a view inside a, another folder, you use the dot notation to map it to that view. So that's what is happening here. So save. Now let's see. Let's go to the browser. I'll go to the home page. Now we have these views. Let's go to the web design. And there you have it. So this is our web design view. So Laravel has been able to do as we instruct is go to the root URL and look for this URL. And then it is can be found inside the services directory and then the view called web design. So I hope you understand how this routing works. And in the next lecture, we look at another way of routing. See you in the next lecture.